Hello ACU family, this is Ray um, for the Poconos, uh, showing you a little bit of my presentation project um, as best as I can. It's kind of tough, but I'll do my best. As you can see, it's uh, kind of the description of that picture is Beauty for Ashes. Uh, that has been my life story uh, with everything I've gone through. Um, Again, recent divorce for, in case um, no one knew, I kind of posted my uh, introduction video kind of late. So, but it is in my introduction video in week in week one, and also um, some battles uh, throughout my life uh, in the Lord. I am a PK pastor's kid, and uh, for those who are pastor pastor's kid, it's not always easy. The Lord kinds of the Lord kind of makes a way for us to. Um, go through things so we could shine at the end. Um, currently going to start through some things that are kind of amazing that I'm taking this course during this time. Um, in life, we always have people who uh, claim that they don't want to be uh, surrounded by yes men. And then uh, when people try to speak into their lives, they automatically cancel them out. It reminds me uh, a little bit about, I believe it was uh, the prophet Jeremiah, where the king and his court uh, told them, Jeremiah, whatever the Lord puts in your heart, uh, tell us and we will do it. And when Jeremiah tells them what the Lord says, they kind of tell them, uh, no, you did not hear from the Lord. So it's kind of tough because you want to stand for what's right. And uh, sometimes you have to stand alone. So I kind of have, have had to stand um even at times, it felt like I've been alone, but the Lord is with me. Um, that's why my um, the name of God that I most closely can relate to in this season of my life is Elroy, which means a God that sees, and I put in parentheses, the God that sees me. Uh, it's amazing that he's never busy for us. And um, in my paragraph, I wrote, uh, Elroy, the God who sees me, has traded my ashes for his beauty. God has placed a compassionate heart in me to help those who are less fortunate, including those who are my enemies. Just as Elroy saw David's struggle, God used King Saul to refine David's, David's character. David was a man after God's own heart, chose to show mercy to King Saul. Later on, when King Saul's only surviving relative, his grandson, Mephibosheth, was lame, King David also showed him mercy. My life verse or mission statement verse or <laughs> there's so many ways to describe this verse but i believe it's my lifetime verse um is uh, romans 8 20 to 29 it says and we know that in all things god works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose for those god foreknew he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters isn't it amazing that no matter what we go through, God has a reason for it because he's shaping us into the image of his son. And in those times, it's hard for us to embrace that because we're in pain. We feel like we've been used and abused. But even in those times, God is shaping us to the image of his son. Again, that's God's that's God's purpose for 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 us to become like Jesus, and He'll and He'll make it happen, even when we're kicking and screaming. So God bless you guys all. Uh, what an amazing, amazing, timely course we are taking, especially when we are called to serve our enemies, and how God uses those enemies to shape our character and to take out those traits that our enemies have in us so um again what an awesome time and again it always reminds me that a, a god who could have controlled his enemies decided not to control his enemies but to give his life for his enemies so blessings to all merry christmas happy new year thank you professor alfadi thank you for the ta who's helping him who i believe they're anonymous thank you thank you thank you for your patience for your kindness and for leading us through this journey of our mission statement. God bless everyone.